how many of you are on today. Welcome. I haven't been on for a live for weeks. I've been really struggling with what I'm calling ascension symptoms. And I thought I'd speak a little bit today about um, walk-ins and um, other spirits or souls having experiences through somebody else's body. If you haven't dived into that yet, there's a topic for you to research. Um, I'm, I've been getting triple numbers a lot lately and 222 is one that is coming in frequently and 222 signifies good fortune in your finances, relationships and career as well as a reminder to work towards your soul's purpose. So my challenge to you today is are you on track with your 222? And then I had a look at Mark 222 which says this and no one pours new wine into old wine skins otherwise the wine will burst the skins and both the wine and the wine skins will be ruined no they pour new wine into new wine skins and so the geometria in the bible whether or not you believe it to be historically accurate or not the geometria there is going to blow your mind if you look if you look closely because the numbers are all a frequency and so when we're talking about light codes or light vibrations coming into the body there is no better time than now when you're connecting with higher self and connecting reconnecting with soul to look after your health because your health is your wealth everything is energy right every single thing is energy and so a lot of us leave me a comment here a lot of us are feeling like we've got cold symptoms at the moment and so this is the body readjusting it's purging anything that's acidic if you have a look at my nine week course if you're interested i talk about energy matching energy if you are eating a lot of acidic food maybe because you're holding acidic energies energies are emotional right demon demotion demotion on the scale we're dropping down to these animalistic feelings which are part of our human experience that's the skin the, the spirit of us as sovereignty is trapped within this animalistic body. And if you're only running in ego state, this is where you're trapped in this animal matrix. You are trapped within the old wine skin that can't hold this new high vibrational wine. Now, have a look at the first miracle of Christ. What was it? It was the wedding. It was the... It was the pots turning the water into wine. Look at us in the body. We're made out of 70 to 90% water, some say. And yet we're dehydrated. We're not activated with living water, which is a living vibration. And you start to realize that I am who I tell myself I am. I am who what I meditate on. I am what I speak into these waters. And a lot of that's really negative. And so I'm in a vibration of fear. I'm in a vibration where my nervous system is running in angst, fear of not having enough, fear of not having enough to eat, fear of um, my future, fear of people not liking me. And the, fears, the fear list is long, right? But this is the old way of thinking. This isn't sovereignty. Soul can see things from a much higher perspective and not be worried about that stuff. Fear isn't even real. Fear is manufactured. When you look at things from soul level, love always provides, love needs this new body, it needs a new pot to hold this density. And we look at the symbols of the age of Aquarius. It is, is it not pouring out of these new waters? Well, these are the light codes pouring in and so if you've got these ascension symptoms, it's because you're upgrading. I've been wrestling with my team. There are many teams. There are many teams working with us at soul level. Don't look for humans to give you approval. Look for ascended ones to give you approval. These are soul family. Of course, there are some ascended ones walking around in bodies too. Don't overlook them either. 
You'll know them by their fruit, fruit being their emotional body. And so why did I feel the need to talk about walk-ins? Well, I believe that we are, Earth is splitting, Earth's dividing. This is what Spirit's shown me. And in 2017, I saw that what happened to us in Indonesia in 1998 would happen worldwide. And that was an overnight division of the people. You would see who's running in fear. Those ones would be grappling to store things up, um, stockpile. They would be running in a frequency of fear. Running in a frequency, I, I don't have enough. Fear of the future. Looking after just me, 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 me. Not thinking at soul level. Not thinking at a collective level. And guess what happened in Indonesia back then? Anyone that stockpiled was robbed by other ones that are also running in a spirit of fear. It's a spirit. Fear is a spirit. Fear is a vibration. Fear is a frequency that's disconnected from soul, that's disconnected from sovereignty. Fear is a result of a nervous system that doesn't know how to self-soothe, that doesn't know how to calm itself, that doesn't know what love is maybe, it's stuck in the trauma. And so another thing that I was shown in 2017 is that many would die. And I would hazard a guess to say that if the light codes coming in are so intense with love that a body that can't hold love or isn't willing to entertain love probably may not make it. And so I want you to just meditate on what death is to you. If you still have a fear of death, you're missing the whole point of sovereignty. If you can face death head on and not be afraid of death, then nothing can touch you because you've come to the conclusion that you are an eternal spirit. That's the God spark within you. That's working and operating at soul level. Instead of this animalistic thing, we're in this, in this place of duality, right? Where we've got the animal instincts and we've got these soul level spiritual ability to be everywhere at once, which is omnipresence, which is the God in you. And the God in you requires to live in a tidy temple, not one that's running in fear, not one that's running in lack, not one that's lacking faith. And so I'd love you to ponder that. And please, I'm asking you to give me a like, give me a share, pop this into your stories if it resonates, because I've noticed that my views are really down again. And Everything's energy, right? Everything's an energy exchange. I haven't even had the energy to do lives in the last few weeks. And you'll notice I've been doing lives daily for years now. That's a lot of energy that I'm giving out. And so I ask you just for a little like so that I can spread my algorithm and keep speaking this good news. Charlie's saying death isn't the end. It's the next step for growth in Charlie's opinion. Yeah. What is death? Death has no sting, right? Like there is no death actually for an eternal being. We've had eternity to figure this out and some of us are still running in the animal instinct. We're still running in lack. Now, walk-ins. What's a walk-in? Well, a walk-in is another spirit being that is, hasn't got a body and needs a body to express itself. And the body is sacred, right? The body is the house, the body is the temple. And there are so many spirits around us that don't have on other timelines and other frequencies and other vibrations. If you could see it, some people can see it all. Uh, they might be labeled as going crazy. Like it's, it's a lot for a person to have the third eye open full time, which is why I think the divine just allows us little moments to see things and switches it off. Because if you saw it all happening now, when there's no time, there's a lot going on. But there are very dense spirits that covet a body. They want a body to have the human experience for feelings, but they have to match an energy of a, a vibration. All energies are vibrations. And anger is a really good one for these negative benevolent spirits to jump into a body 
you may have witnessed that let drop me a comment if you have witnessed it i've witnessed this even in people that i love now this isn't possession this is what i would call a walk-in where a spirit it might be a spirit in that person's ancestral line it might be a spirit that has a soul contract with that person will be able to use their mouth for a moment while the anger's matching because a lot of these benevolent spirits they don't like humans very much they're jealous jealousy runs with all of these wicked spirits these dark spirits now now i want to lean into the narcissist and duality with the empath and the narcissist and that that dance that we're all dancing and the empath empath's also grown out of trauma but the empath has been able to activate different parts of the brain and get to a higher state of thinking in the cerebral cortex the narcissist brain doesn't work quite the same have you ever witnessed a narcissist eyes go completely black like the whites of the eyes go completely black i have and this is when you know you've got a complete and utter walk-in with the narcissist running in full capacity anger or ego state that animalistic instinct that's all that's home disconnected from soul where all they care about is what they want they're disconnected from your feelings they don't have the capacity to hold space for your feelings so trying to rationalize with that is just not realistic lord knows i've tried and nearly died for it but um the windows to the temple are the eyes actually if you encounter any type of demonic activity as a walk-in or a narcissist just hold your gaze hold your light now what happens in a normal person when they love you when they trust you i made a video on this ages ago in fact on my youtube it's got one of the most amount of views for this but when you hold gaze with a person's soul eye which is the left eye or facing on a camera is different because we're mirrored we're mirrored so if somebody's facing you it'll be their right eye but it's our left eye which is soul eye if you hold a gaze with this eye um, if a person loves you the pupil will dilate now the only two times this or three actually I'll tell you the three times this isn't relevant is if the person's on drugs then forget it scrap it it'll be the drugs that are making the pupils dilate that's different um, the second thing is when the lighting's wrong or the lighting's too dark it, you need to be in a light room for this to happen but um, people that are trained in sales look at the eye intently so if the pupils dilating the person will know that they've got a window of time to click the sale in if that makes sense where the person's opening to them they're opening their soul to them they're opening they're listening listening they're trusting this is where you see or if you're on a date this is a really good tip unless you're in a really sleazy bar with no lighting but look into the windows of the soul and check the pupils you'll either know that they're on drugs or you know that they're open to loving you so we can tell a lot about the eye or they're a narcissist now when a narcissist clicks into rage the whole whites of the eyes will dissipate i've even witnessed this on my massage table giving um healers a sound healing like i always connect to the eyes when i call somebody back and i've witnessed the eyes going completely black and then that person was terrified of me i saw their soul i saw into their soul i saw that their soul was disconnected there's a lot of me that asks the question what happened to the narcissist um surely something happened where they just got a walk-in happening and they just chose to operate an ego state but in this world of duality we kind of need that as strange as that seems to learn the lesson like my father was a narcissist and hindsight's a really interesting lesson i spent my whole life hating him and now i look and think wow you know like from a soul state did he make a soul agreement with me to teach me about entities to teach me that great darkness leads to light like if you want to know mystical knowledge for example you have to have really tasted darkness in order to alchemize it 
And so therefore, from a higher perspective, is any of it bad? I know this is a bit of a mind F, like for me it is anyway, I'm still processing that. But I wanted to show you the eye today, the window to the soul and show you the fractal that I see within earth, the pupil being inner earth that could either lead to Eden or could lead to the pits of hell, depending on the body state or earth state. The, the iris being the map of earth and then the whites of the eye being the ice wall. And I want to show you this because I believe what spirits showing me is the land beyond Antarctica. And this is a really, really big topic, but let me just turn my camera around and show you what I mean. So on the old maps, Earth is drawn very, very differently. On the old maps, we have Antarctica as an ice ring. You'll see this on the Game of Thrones, actually, where there's land beyond the ice wall. And on the other side of the ice wall, they're showing us in the Game of Thrones that the White Walkers walked beyond there. The White Walkers walked beyond. So I want you to just check out all of the old maps, knowing that it was the Jesuits that changed the map. Now look at this old symbol of Earth and Earth is one mass. It's shaped like a brain, right? Not a coincidence. I know this is going to rattle a lot of people that aren't thinking that Earth is a plane, but Earth is definitely a plane. Um, Spirit showed me that in the astral state. Now look at the eye. Okay, so you've got inner Earth, which opens up for love or opens up as a narcissist for entities. Either or that. You've got the, this dualistic um, position or poles that are shifting, right? And then the iris, different colors representing different elements within us you know fire wind earth water spirit we're made from all of them some of us are a little bit imbalanced and then the ice wall now if you've ever done an experiment like i have if someone's pissed you off you might have put their name in the freezer you've heard about these things well you're slowing down the vibration of their name their name is their frequency but i wouldn't recommend this because remember you eat food out of your freezer well, I've done it as an experiment, but there are other ways to actually slow somebody's evil intentions down. But don't mix it with your food because we become what we ingest, right? And if, even if in the action I'm sending hatred towards that person, albeit unconscious sometimes, sometimes it's conscious, isn't it? We just want someone to just piss off and leave us alone. Um, we're using the elementals, we're using things to set intentions and we're, we're working with the elements that way. Think about earth now in duality, not able to escape to land beyond. We are entrapped by an ice wall. Now, whether or not that's high tech, I think it might be from the Anunnaki. There's a lot, there's a lot to this actually, and I'm not sure how much I wanna speak into this today, but if you look at the old model of the dome, Anu was the name of the dome. And then Ki, is the earth plane now you break down the etymology and you get anunnaki which is we were made in the image of these gods now for those that are still trapped in religiosity um it's all in the bible i can do a live on that if you ever want me to show you that in even in genesis it said let us make them in our image and so nothing's as it seems were we made in the image of um watch angels i think we were and then you get the story of enoch and the fallen angels taking the women now i've met in my journey people that seemed loving seemed like they had a lot of wisdom and knowledge and the next minute a walk-in and i'll tell you what the walk-in couldn't do with me couldn't look me in the eye had to put glasses on couldn't allow their hair to be uncovered because hair is your silica hair is what is a conductor forbade me from speaking these walk-in spirits forbade me from speaking remember that your energy is transmuted as energy 
as I mentioned in the last few weeks, I haven't had the energy to do lives, even though I've had a lot of pull-ins, a lot of downloads, a lot of concepts that I wanted to share, I just didn't have the energy. I'm reserving my energy. I'm reserving my soul. I'm reserving my vibration. And sometimes I feel like I'm speaking to deaf ears anyway, right? So you, you go through these motions in processing as a clear audience, like what, what's the point? Like no interaction, no likes, no shares. What, what's the point? And yet I'm not doing this for likes. I'm doing this because this is part of my sole purpose. But I ask myself, is humanity at the tipping scale now where not many more will wake up? Just like Spirit showed me in 2017, the vibration or the 222, the body cannot catch the frequency because it's running in ego state. Have you, like me, had so many people that were awakened, they're seeing the frequencies, the synchronicities are there, they're getting the one, 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 they're, they're hearing what you're hearing and then they snap back out of it. The spell hits them again. And I've figured out, I think I know what it is that makes them go back under the spell. It's ego. It's this animalistic, ego-centric state where they may get challenged by something that you pull in as a spiritual being that doesn't fit the resonance of their ego state. And so they switch off again and they go back to sleep. This has happened to a shit ton of people that I have mentored, um, a shit ton of people that have I've even had in my house to pray with or to meditate with or to share wisdom and knowledge. This journey is lonely. It's really lonely. This ability to see this ability to hear spiritual messages they come in as a frequency and if the body is the old body just like i read to you from mark 2 chapter 22 if it's the old wine skin if the person hasn't done the inner healing or they're still working in ego state the new frequency won't stick it won't hold it'll actually smash the pot it'll separate and so it's all vibrational. You can't put new wine, which is new teachings. It's soul frequency. It is how things are meant to be. It's the energy of new earth. You can't put it into an old wine skin. That person may not be looking after their health. That person may not be willing to sacrifice all. That person may have attachments to things that are still in old earth frequency. They don't want to let go of shit. And the old shit weighs them down like an anchor. Let me know what you think. I'd love to have your engagement in this chat today. That energy might be tethered sexually to a narcissist or a walk-in. Because that can shift the frequency immediately. Because we become what we behold. We become what we merge with. We become what we eat. We become what we think. We become energetically what we are with. Who we are hanging with. A captured moment saying everyone I'm coming in touch with are changing and trying to cope. Yeah. Please listen to this replay because... I mentioned this at the start that a an unhealed nervous system will always be trying to just survive instead of fly. We've got our wings back. It's already here. New Earth is here. There is no time. Live it. Live it in faith until it drops in. Don't allow the walk-ins into your temple. Command them to bow. This is your earth. Deuteronomy 1111. I'm going to pull that up and show you. It's 1111. Can I just say, just because somebody's seeing 1111 doesn't mean that they don't have entities. Because everything is stolen. Deuteronomy. I can't spell Deuteronomy. 1111. Let's see what it says. But the land you are about to cross the river and take for your own is a land of mountains and valleys it drinks water that rains from the sky but the land that you are entering to possess 
is a land of mountains and water. Oh, there's a better one than that. It's talking about crossing into the promised land anyway. But the land you are crossing, the Jordan to take possession of, is a land of mountains and valleys that drinks rain from heaven. Deuteronomy 1111, the gates are open. Yeah, 11 is a master number. Two gates is 2 2. This is what I'm talking about the frequency of the 222. Two, two. The frequency is there to just step into. You don't need to do anything, it's a mindset. It's a mindset. You already have access. You already have the key. The key is love. The key is a frequency. Just go inward and heal yourself. Heal your shadow. Embrace your shadow. Make peace with the anger that's within you. It's that anger that's opening up to entities and jealousies that don't have a body. And they become one with you. Just say no. Shield up with the golden Christ, the golden light. Don't allow the walk-ins. Did you know that a lot of what you think isn't yours? It's called an egregore. These ancient occult ways, they were an incredibly skilled at pulling in old energies, embodying them. Sat uh, Satan or Satanas or whatever you want to call this egregore energy, this energy of darkness, this energy of evil, this energy of wickedness, this energy of cut offness is embodied by anyone that's trapped in their ego state. Pride shows you where it's at. You will never be able to climb to heart space unless you get past the solar plexus, which is pride. I believe this is your fractal within your body for inner earth. This is either the sun, Christ, climbing up, or it is the inner sun, the black sun. Did we not see the duality merging during the eclipse? What a season. What a season. Rachel seeing 333, three, three. captured moments seeing 444. Four, four. You're seeing these aligned frequencies. You're seeing alignment. Hold the sun. The, the Christed lights in all of us. We've got to climb up to heart space to access that. Learn how to manifest from your magnetic field beyond your unhealed nervous system. Beyond, I don't have enough. I'm afraid. Thinking the worst. The reason we have narcissists as our leaders is because we hold the energies. It's an energy match. It's a frequency. New Earth doesn't need leaders. Everybody's a leader. Everybody's a king and a queen. I had someone on my YouTube last week just go off at that, me saying that I'm a queen. I didn't even give myself the name Frequency Queen. It was given to me. But I do know about frequencies. It was incredible beings, heavenly beings that put these things in me, this understanding, this knowledge. It was added to me as light codes. And if that offends you, I make no apologies. If you know who you are in the I am, you are the I witnessing, experiencing density. Love can't come into this. It's a mess here. Love can't come into a messy temple that hates other beings. If you hate others, you hate yourself. Love forgives, right? Love cancels out debts. Love is acting differently. Love doesn't want vengeance. Love says, let's start over again. Stephen's saying, I had a profound awakening at a run by Kay Wilson last year. I was super high vibe for a while. I see 1111 most days. Beautiful, Stephen. I love Kay. We just did an event together um, last Sunday, actually. She's super cool, and that's beautiful that you've experienced that. I love that you're seeing 1111. Um, Charlie's saying peace, love, and blessings. Gotta lay down, but beautiful. Great to have you here. Thank you for being here. 
Yeah, and so heaven is a mindset. Heaven is within you. Heaven is coming out of your inner earth. That is your ego center, your inner sun. When you switch the light on, it's the Christed light, allowing the anointing oil to rise up and crown you. And that's when the golden sweet light energizes you again. It protects you. It's the Christ within. All of us have it. Not the inner earth black sun. We're merging those two together just like this eclipse. We're saying no to the walk-ins. We're commanding lower based energies to bow at our feet. And for some hearing this at a new level, they may think it sounds sacrilegious, but isn't this what Christ was saying? You know, was it considered blasphemy that Christ said, I am? I am who I am in the great I am. I am the light. I am everything that I thought I was separated from. This is the spark of God within me. I've forgotten in this amnesia state. So we say no to the narcissists and the walk-ins. And many of us have learned this light from the darkness of a narcissist. So all I have to say to them is thank you for seeing my light. Thank you for showing me that the accusation was needed. Satan is the accuser, right? Satan is this energy within the body, this old dark egregore that's jealous that's prideful. I needed that to know that my light was to be activated. And so was the narcissist dance with me. My release point. The light shines brightly in the darkness, right? And so the narcissist the leaders, the ones that exalt themselves, the ones that put themselves up on a pedestal, show me that my light indeed needs to shine from a high place. Really interesting point, a captured moment. I wonder what am. As soon as you say the word am, I am, ma comes to me ma the mother the gamma state the light activated state the mother the divine feminine ma in this realm is ocean bitterness there are so many spirits in the ocean you know covered up by the waters of atlantis where technology and ancient wisdom could have been used for good but it wasn't it was used for evil and you think that flooding a spirit gets rid of a spirit it doesn't that's why you cast a spirit into the ocean don't you know the abyss you cast the spirit into the ocean see the story of the pigs all of the spirits were in the demoniac legions of spirits were in the demoniac see christ crossed over the water and as he got close to these energies, a storm, because where light and darkness hit, it creates friction, right? It creates elemental issues where batteries actually, our magnetic fields either attract or repel. And so the elements are affected when light comes close to darkness. And these demons didn't want to leave the man and have no body so they asked to go into the pigs and where did the pigs go back home back into the water i've witnessed all sorts of spirits coming out of the ocean while i'm doing land clearing you can see them with your third eye the elements shift the portals open and so time is all happening simultaneously can we take back these ancient wisdoms? Can we take back this ancient knowledge and use it all for good? I believe we can. We just need to have the right mindset, the right heart space. That it's not for ones or twos of us that elevate ourselves with ego state. It's for all of us. For we are equal. We are equally the children of the creator. Even though 
the genes have been shifted by the Anunnaki. We're still love, having this God spark of experience within these beautiful quantum computers that we call a body, and it's the body that needs cleaning up. Are you going to clean your body up today? Choose health and well-being. Health is your wealth. Stop chasing the elusive dream for stuff that rots or rusts or gets stolen. Stop stockpiling. Give yourself the love energy and then you'll have plenty to pour out because your vessel's full, your cup's full. And I will research the am, for you are who you are in the great I am. And it's a magical time, my friends, to create heaven on earth. It's already within you. You have the seed. Let that seed grow again. This is your primordial cell. It's been there since you were sung into existence. Everybody's cymatic frequency is different. Isn't that incredible? And give me a like. Share this. Help me with my algorithms so that I can keep speaking these energies of sharing things that I hear from the mystical realm. Thank you so much. Um, and know that your love. And my phone's flat. So there's my sign to go. 222 today. If you're the Central Coast Way, book in for the Saratoga Sound Circle tomorrow. If you are in Sydney, I really need to see you at my Health and Harmony event on May 19th. And if you need some mentoring, drop me a message. Love you.